It's week 18 of the 2023 season. Our spotlight is on Michael Pittman as he's topped a 1,300-yard mark receiving on the year. It's the Colts and the Texans, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. First open back in 2008, there's a look at Lucas Oil Stadium here in downtown Indy. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans. Well, down on the field, they're all thinking the same thing that they do every week, Charles. All the work, all the preparation over the past week, it all leads up to these next four quarters. It's suspenseful now, Brandon, but once that ball is kicked, that ball will go out the window. From then on, it's just time to execute and fight for a win. Here's the putter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And we are underway from Indianapolis. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out in his second season now out of Stanford. Here's Davis Mills. And remember, when he came out of college, he left early. So a lot of people weren't really paying attention to this young man. But he's entrusted with a leadership role early in his NFL career and didn't shy away from it. His goal, continue to prove that there should have been one more quarterback that went in the first round of the 2021 draft. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And some space here. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the Texans will jump on top for the game's first score here this afternoon. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. Bringing him out, the third overall pick from way back in 2008. A guy now in his 15th NFL season, Matt Ryan. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense. Get things going and see how things settle in. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine, Ryan. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. To throw is Ryan. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. So first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, 
They're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if it got turned into the points. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go play action. Mills. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there. It's second down. Pierce now up the middle. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Mills to the sideline, and out and out is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston Football Tribe. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that will extend their lead even further. They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it will come out to the 25. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Now on second and 13, Ryan. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. On first and ten, Mills. They'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year, 16-0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade in the 2020s, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get through a perfect season. Would a win here make them an all-timer for you? It would. It absolutely would. And I realize we're not comparing apples to apples because of the length of regular seasons. But if you think back to the 1972 Dolphins, they were 14-0 in the regular season. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17-0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-timer team already for me. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's second and 7 from the 9. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletion, so that has him staring at a third and ten. He was defended by Jalen Petrie. They give to Taylor out of the gun, and he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough, and the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. It's a 39-yard punt, and good coverage means a loss on the return. And the Texans will take over. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there. It will be second down. To throw again on second down, Mills. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Gold's territory. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be from 56 yards out. Two quarters of football left in the regular season. Everybody's excited to get to the playoffs. So excited that we're just going to skip right over halftime and get back to the action. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it will come out to the 25. But the Colts ready to go to work to start the third quarter. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen where the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe they inspire your defense to help out as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Two yard punt, six on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. Room here to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and ten at the 42 yard line. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. First down, Mills. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. Chris Moore, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Texans will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third.
Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They're in a bit of a bind, a pretty big bind, down 20-0 as they start here on first and 10. Dancing, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Jerry Hughes, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. On second down, it's Taylor. Only able to make it to the 15 after the nice move. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Third and long, it's Ryan. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the Holding. call. Offense. So a holding penalty, and that'll send it backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. <laughs> I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes... Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. That's returnable now for Smith. A 40-yard punt given three on the return. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and ten. Pierce takes it straight ahead, and they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain, and quickly they get to the line. On second and nine, Mills. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Mills now looks to throw on first down. There again is Cooks, complete. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. They'll run here with Pierce. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it will come out to the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film section tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the first game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Ryan now to throw on third down. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. A gain of 17 yards. Throwing again. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Ryan. 
Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example. Do you? I mean, talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. 161 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like they've been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. After that last sequence, they're sitting pretty comfortably. They force the fumble get the field goal and expand on that lead here in the second half. And don't expect them to rest on their laurels after that kick either. They'll keep their effort up until the final whistle. They don't consider any lead safe. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Houston, they make NFL history with this, their 17th win without a loss. A perfect 17-0 on the regular season. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Colts, the loss means they'll finish up the regular season at 10-7. And, and it's going to be finger-crossing time as we await the final shakedown of this year's playoff picture.